if you're seeing this video then it means that the mic has recorded decent enough audio so I can actually make a video well hey and if not fuck's sake sort yourself out mic you work when you want to work and you don't work when you don't want to work fuck you so yeah the video I wanted to make and third time to charm right is my top five vloggers now you're gonna have to excuse my voice I have a little bit of a cold uh, my nose is bunged up so I'm breathing and talking through my fucking mouth so top five vloggers now the order that it's in <coughs> it's not a rating system number five isn't any worse than number one vice versa um, if you're not on the list doesn't mean I don't like your stuff if I'm subscribed to you it means I like your videos that's why I'm subscribed to you I watch your videos um, and you probably know that if you subscribe to me and watch me and you comment my stuff I don't really comment on other people's videos um, it's nothing personal I just never feel like I have anything uh, worth saying really um, so yeah you know there's that so let's go on with it number five would have to be premises 187 uh, the reason I subscribed to premises in the first place was I saw his uh, like road rage videos of him versus taxi drivers and it cracked me up you know um, the taxi driver pulls out on him he's fucking effing them blinding and all this stuff it, it was something I hadn't really seen before because uh, this was a couple of years ago it's something I hadn't really seen before on uh, YouTube so I enjoyed it thoroughly it was made me laugh I like seeing sort of people getting angry and you know uh, swearing and losing their shit but it wasn't extreme you know it was, you could tell some of it, it was him doing it for the camera but I found it enjoyable anyway so that's why I enjoyed and I subscribed and find him to be one of my uh, top five favorite vloggers uh, number four would be the crumble it used to be called apple von crumble uh, really enjoyed the crumble because of I found his videos so random <clears throat> it was all just him sort of filtering or you know just riding along but the stories and the you know the stories and little dialogues that he made up as he went along I found it to be absolutely hilarious he, he always go off on a tangent he'd be talking about something but then something would distract him and he'd be talking about something else and I found it absolutely hilarious so that's why I like the crumble uh, here's number four number three uh, I would have to say would be the crazy mook uh, the reason I enjoy the crazy mook is I've met him uh, a couple times now and he is completely genuine the whoa that's a lot of cars uh, yeah the crazy mook is completely genuine uh, he's not a character that he's made up and put onto the video um, you know he's uh it's actually him and I enjoy that you're not getting anything different so um yeah also I've described to him as well to begin with quite shallow it's quite shallow really um but it's because of the fact that he had an ER6F and I had the ER6N uh, if someone's sort of riding the same bike I have then you know I immediately find a connection uh, it's the same when people sort of ride locally and I know that I'm, they're riding roads that I know you know it's the same thing it's like it's a little connection um, so yeah crazy mook number three number two has got to be the guy that got me into most of vlogging and um, he may not know it but he was the first vlogger I saw that made me think I really want to do this myself um, and it was bloody blah 52 uh, absolutely love his videos um, you can sit there and watch him and uh, listen to his voice all day it sounds a uh, you know no homo and all that but it's just I find your accent hilarious 
Uh, and when you're talking, <laughs> I find you more funny. It sounds really rude, doesn't it? But no, it's not. It's I find that with accents, I can find someone a lot funnier if they have a funny accent. Take uh, Mickey Flanagan for example. Uh, Bloody well, I might as well him to be honest. But take Mickey Flanagan. I find the shit that he says even funnier because of his accent and uh, the way he talks. So yeah, there's that. Bloody well, fifty two. Uh, hopefully you make more videos because I am missing your content to be honest. But yeah, there we go. Uh, number one, uh, I would have to say would be Baron von Grumble. Now this must seem a bit like a you know uh, easy pick or something for some people, or a silly pick for others. Okay, nice last indication. Uh, but yeah, Baron von Grumble. I've watched him for years now. I think the very first video I saw was his green naming video, and I thought. If you're going to take a G6R down green lane, you've got to be a fucking nutcase. But it meant, tied to me, it was like, you've got balls. So, yeah, I had to watch him from that. I've enjoyed his videos ever since, to be honest. I've enjoyed his videos ever since. <clears throat> I think, as well, everyone say, I've had the, um, you know, everyone be saying, oh, you're, yeah, he's a sellout and all this shit, but... I don't see that. I think if you get sponsorship deals and you get companies and shit willing to help you out, I don't think that's going to detriment your videos in any way. I think it's only going to improve them. So, you know, any companies want to sponsor me, uh, Kawasaki, Suzuki, Yamaha, if you want to give me a bike, that'd be great. <laughs> um, or gear, you know, that might gear. No Rucker, Knox, Forsyld, you know, it's just, it's, it's there if you want to, you know, I'm just, the offer's on the table. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I find his videos to be very entertaining, this is his, um, go on to 44 Teeth as well. I love watching their videos, like that, especially the Odin Shock video, I find it to be incredibly informative. And very enjoyable. So, yeah, Baron Von Grand would have been number one for me. And, uh, yeah, I'd have to say the, um, oh, I can't say idea, but me wanting to do this video is because I saw Phil 480's video about his top five British ones. And I was like, well, I'm not just going to have British vloggers. But then when I thought about it, I was like, well, actually, my top five are British, so, you know. Top five vloggers, whatevs, guys, whatevs. But uh, yeah, look at this weather. Look at this weather. It's sunny. It's almost like Mother Nature is tempting me, you know, it's just teasing me. It's like summer's just around the corner. It's only like, you know, two, three months away. Look what you can be enjoying. But then I know tomorrow it's pissing down with rain, so fuck you, Mother Nature. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna go now, and I will catch you next time.